Switch Lite is finally out. And if you want a Nintendo Switch, now there are finally options where you can choose between the original Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch Lite, and the revised version of the original Nintendo Switch. There are definitely a ton of great options here. However, not all of these options are great for all sorts of people. For example, even though the original Switch and the revised version of the Switch are still the same kind, here I would like to compare the original design of the Nintendo Switch with the Nintendo Switch Lite. And hopefully together we can both decide which version of the Switch might be best for you. The larger or original Nintendo Switch, or is it going to be the Nintendo Switch Lite? Well, let's figure that out together. Let's go ahead and quickly brush, brush up on details on the original Nintendo Switch. So to start off, this Nintendo Switch has a 6.1 inch display, the 720p screen, as well as the light, and this one has detachable Joy-Cons. This one will feature battery life of about two and a half hours to six hours. However, that is only for the very first version of the Switch. The revised one actually has much greater battery life. So that is another thing to consider. It's one of the very few differences between the two. This version of the Nintendo Switch can also be docked and it already comes with two-player accessibility on the go because each of the Joy-Cons behaves as two separate controllers if you want them to. The Switch Lite, on the other hand, does not have any sort of detachable units, any sort of kickstands, it doesn't have any gimmicks of the sort. This is just single-player or one-person handheld console gaming experience for the most part. You can connect a separate Joy-Con to it or another controller to it if you wanted to, but it does require the use of separate accessories in order to make that work. So the Switch Lite is mostly just meant for that. This light supports a 5.5 inch 720p screen as well. It is considerably smaller, but they do support the same resolution. In terms of battery life, this Nintendo Switch should be able to accomplish three to seven hours, which is a small improvement just reading it off of the spec sheet from the original Nintendo Switch. However, in practice, this battery life lasts closer to, to where it maxes out. So with this console, you usually get between five and a half hours to six hours for the kinds of games I play. The Nintendo Switch Lite retails for about $200 here in the US. And it should be noted already that I have reviewed both versions of the Nintendo Switch, both the Nintendo Switch Lite and the original Nintendo Switch. For the original Nintendo Switch, that was more of a year or later analysis. If you were interested in checking out full analysis on each particular device, then I'll make sure to leave links to those previous reviews in the description. So make sure to check those out. In terms of the overall physical appearance or physical design of both Nintendo Switches, the Nintendo Switch Lite is definitely considerably smaller than the original Nintendo Switch. In terms of screen size, you've got 5.5 inch display versus a 6.1 inch display. The overall bodies are definitely different in size for the original Switch is considerably larger. But despite that, the size of the buttons and the joysticks for both are actually the exact same as you would be able to see. So you wouldn't be compromising on, on the size of the buttons or the joysticks at all when switching down to the Nintendo Switch Lite. You do get the same button configuration for the most part. The difference is, however, is that the Nintendo Switch does have detachable units here, which are the Joy-Cons and also has a kickstand around the back. With the Nintendo Switch Lite, doesn't have any of those things. The placement of the speakers is also very different. So on the original Nintendo Switch, you're going to find them right at the very front of the Nintendo Switch, towards the bottom, but still facing the user directly. However, for the Nintendo Switch Lite, here you're going to see that the speakers are actually located all the way at the very bottom of the Nintendo Switch, even though they're still positioned somewhat so that they would still face the user. But that still holds them back a bit. And in terms of just overall texture, both have very similar textures. At the very least, you can compare the texture of the Joy-Con specifically to the one on the entirety of the body for the Nintendo Switch Lite. So that is th the texture that you should be expecting. And while previous Joy-Cons that I've owned, I've gotten a ton of finger grease on them, I have a feeling that this one for the Nintendo Switch Lite, this texture should definitely be able to last at least a little bit longer before you start seeing all of those marks on it. But it is worth noting that it is a very similar texture. And as I do keep saying, both screens are actually pretty good. They both feature the same resolution display at 720p, however the Switch Lite is going to have a 5.5 inch display versus the Nintendo Switch that is going to have a 6.1 inch display. And as a result, because these are both differently sized screens, but they both support the same resolution, you might actually start to believe that the 
screen on the Nintendo Switch Lite is sharper, just because you are looking at the same amount of pixels, just in a smaller display, so they're a little bit harder to find. In other words, it allows the image to look a little bit sharper, at least it gives you the illusion that the Nintendo Switch Lite has a sharper display which is pretty cool. The display on the, the original Nintendo Switch is a little bit cooler for sure. The colors aren't really as vibrant or as warm, even though this display is still very good, in my opinion. The Nintendo Switch Lite does have warmer colors, which for gaming and content consumption does look a little bit nicer to me. The display on the Nintendo Switch Lite also gets a little bit brighter, which is definitely worth noting, because when you put them side by side, you'll definitely be able to notice that the Switch Lite does get considerably brighter than the original Nintendo Switch. For gaming sessions, this might depend on the person, but I believe that most people might actually favor the larger display just because things are a little bit more immersive on, on this bigger screen. Granted, I wouldn't have noticed that the Nintendo Switch's original screen is somewhat inferior to the ones on the lights if I didn't have them side by side because I do think that both displays are fantastic. However, a lot of people might actually favor the larger screen due to immersion or maybe just a big screens or thing. I do also still like smaller screens. However, I do very much enjoy the, the displays on both. They're both touch enabled as well, if you're curious. I would like to go ahead and talk about the speakers on both units. The original Nintendo Switch has its speakers positioned at the very front of the Nintendo Switch towards the bottom but they're still firing towards the user. These speakers sound pretty good. They do get relatively loud. Even if you are in a moderately loud environment, you should still be able to hear speakers on this guy, even if it's just a little bit. It is actually quite nice, I would say. And because they're facing directly towards you, it is very difficult to cover them up while you're playing or watching anything, unless you specifically hold them from that particular spot, which is highly unlikely. The speakers on the Nintendo Switch Lite are positioned at the bottom, as I mentioned earlier even though they still feel like they're somewhat facing the user. These also still get pretty loud, though not as loud as the original Switch. These still sound very good, and I would say that the sound quality is actually very subjective here between devices, just because the original Nintendo Switch has bassier speakers and a little bit louder speakers. So they're better for constant consumption, though not necessarily for listening to people speaking, they might actually be better for gaming in general. However, the ones on the lights are a little bit better for watching videos, I would say, just because even though they're not technically as rich as the original Switch's speakers, they still offer just a little bit more clarity when it comes to people's voices. So it might be better in that regard. However, it might just be fully subjective. I think that they're both still great. And I'm glad that Nintendo was able to pack such great speakers into such tiny devices the Nintendo Switch Lite in particular. And as for overall convenience, the Nintendo Switch, the original version, has definitely a ton of features to accommodate that. This console was built to be both a home console and a portable console. So here you've actually got the accessibility of having double Joy-Cons so you can detach them to play without having to be tethered to the actual console. And you can split them to give one Joy-Con to a friend and then stick with the other one to do instant multiplayer. It also has a kickstand around the back to allow you to just prop it up, which is great for watching some kind of shows, videos, or much so for gaming and for being able to actually share the screen. The fact that the screen is so much bigger on the Nintendo Switch actually allows for it to be a lot better for sharing with somebody else if you're gaming on the same screen. It's even better about that, under that same case scenario, is that you can dock this Nintendo Switch. You can connect this to a TV, a monitor, or any external display that you have access to, thanks to the included dock, but also just because this has the ability to output to a display through its USB-C connector, which is something that the Nintendo Switch Lite does not have, unfortunately. The Nintendo Switch Lite pretty much just has the advantage in the fact that it's so much smaller and lighter than the original Nintendo Switch, and for some people, it might just be the little D-pad here. Now, I have to say that with this Nintendo Switch, you cannot dock it. it, cannot be connected to an external play, it does not have split Joy-Cons, this is just a single solid unit, which means that this system is meant only for you and you only for the most part, unless you bring extra accessories. And so, in other words, if you just want a handheld experience and don't really care for using this as a home console, then the Nintendo Switch Lite is the console that you want. However, if instant multiplayer and being able to dock this to your TV so you can use this as a home console, is a priority and something that you value a lot, then this is the console that you want to go for, the original Nintendo Switch. They both offer a very similar gaming experience in handheld mode, since they're both essentially the same console. A lot of people might disagree with me there. They both have the same texture, 
for the Joy-Cons, or I would say just for the entirety of the body of the Nintendo Switch Lite. You can play the exact same games on both consoles, even if on the Nintendo Switch Lite, you might need additional accessories to make that work, such as using separate Joy-Cons, and that sort of thing, something that actually has HD rumble. Even though the Nintendo Switch Lite still does have gyroscope or motion control, so you can still use that. However, it's just not as efficient as using double Joy-Cons, which are available on the larger original Nintendo Switch. So the Nintendo Switch games were built to work on this system completely. They're able to take advantage of everything that the Nintendo Switch is able to offer. However, the Nintendo Switch Lite actually doesn't have that same accessibility. I would say that what is even more valuable is just the fact that you can play the same kinds of games, the same AAA experiences. You can play Skyrim, you can play Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee and Pikachu, you can play Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, you can play Doom. You can play so many different games on both systems, even on the smaller one, without getting any performance hits. However, one thing to keep in mind is that while both systems are pretty light, and they are both going to be susceptible to heating issues. Well, maybe not issues, but they will definitely get hotter than most other devices out there. The Nintendo Switch Lite definitely gets hotter a lot faster, a lot more easily, and you can feel it a lot more on the Lite version versus the original Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch does seem to perform a lot better in terms of, of thermals. So do keep that into consideration. Not that it affects performance in any way, it was just something worth noting. Battery life here is also going to be another huge factor. So the original Nintendo Switch will perform at around between two and a half hours to six hours. But the revised version, which does retail for the same price, which is $300 for the original Nintendo Switch, can achieve much better battery life. So I would look into that one specifically unless you can get a very good deal on the original Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch Lite does seem to have very similar numbers on the spec sheet. However, with this guy, I can actually get a lot further, which is between five and a half hours to six hours, even though it maxes out at around seven hours, which is very good. Though it is worth noting that both of these consoles, when you put them to sleep, are incredibly energy efficient, and they will hardly lose out on any energy while these consoles are sleeping. So you don't have to go through turning them off every time you're done using them. You could, which might be better, but I always leave these consoles sleeping. I hardly lose any kind of battery, which is really cool. I would say that the Nintendo Switch Lite, however, might be a, a little bit better for commutes just because even though on paper, they do have very similar numbers in terms of battery life. In practice, the battery life on this guy is significant. They're both awesome systems, but they do satisfy very different demographics. For example, if you are looking for a home console that happens to double as a handheld, even though it is technically the other way around, one of the biggest differentiators is that you can use this as a home console and connect this to your television or monitor. If that is a priority to you, if instant multiplayer is something that you absolutely positively need, then you do want the original Nintendo Switch or the revised version of the original Nintendo Switch. However, if you only care about playing in portable mode, but still want access to all those other games in multiplayer as isn't necessarily that big of a priority, maybe you don't mind carrying around extra accessories to make that work, then the Nintendo Switch Lite is the one that you want. If it were up for me, this is what I would do. I've had the original Nintendo Switch for quite a while. I got this around release date, not exactly on release date. But then the Nintendo Switch Lite came out and it made me consider a lot of different things. I mostly play in portable mode and I travel a lot for the most part, which is why I'm mostly in portable mode. Most of the games that I play are also single player games, like Final Fantasy, for example. I play a ton of Final Fantasy games. With that said, the Nintendo Switch Lite sounds like a much better buy to me because of what I just mentioned, but that's just for me. It's the kind of person that I am, those are my use cases. If I didn't have access to the original Nintendo Switch, I would definitely end up missing those features of just being able to dock this, mostly just because I do like watching YouTube on the Nintendo Switch. Using it in tablet mode is okay, I'd rather use my phone if I'm going to do it detached, so I prefer to dock it for those purposes, even though I do still play video games docked, for sure. So if I didn't already own an original Nintendo Switch, I would have gotten the Nintendo Switch Lite. That decision might be a little bit harder harder for you, which is completely understandable. They're both very great systems and they're both worth a go. To sum things up, original Nintendo Switch if you need a home console mostly, Nintendo Switch Lite if you mostly just need a portable console. Save yourself the money in that case, or if not, spend the extra money to get all of the features available for Nintendo's lineup this time around. Hopefully this video helped you make a more informed decision on which console you, you should get. And if you are interested in either purchasing a Nintendo Switch or a Nintendo Switch Lite, then we will make sure to leave affiliate links in the 
description for you so you can go and check those out on Amazon. Now, these links are affiliated, which means that if you do use these links to make a purchase, then we do get a small commission that helps us out a little bit to run things a little more smoothly around here. So if you were to use those links, we would very much appreciate it. This has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you all later. Enjoy.